I'm Bill Fontenot, Vice President at Tleco Power. Today we're showing off our new 600 megawatt generating unit in Boyce, Louisiana. It takes advantage of our experienced employees, a 3,000 acre lake available for cooling water, and interconnection to the electric transmission grid. This state-of-the-art clean coal facility uses petroleum coke, a byproduct of the oil refinery industry, as fuel to generate power. It's also a flexible fuel unit, allowing us to take advantage of several different solid fuels to generate power, including renewable wood waste. The addition of our new clean coal facility allows Clico to generate power that will serve our customers today and well into the future. Let's take a closer look at how this unit operates. When it comes down to it, we generate electricity by producing and exhausting steam into a steam turbine. To produce the steam, we heat water in a huge vessel called a boiler. And to run these boilers, we consume a lot of fuel. In fact, this unit will use 1.5 million tons of pet coke each year. In addition to pet coke, we also plan to consume 500,000 tons of limestone in our boilers. Injection of limestone into the boiler reduces our sulfur emissions by more than 90%, and that's important. Both pet coke and limestone arrive at our facility by barge in the Red River. We plan to offload approximately 96 barges each month to supply the unit, with 2 million tons of pet coke and limestone needed for operation. That's more than 1,400 train car loads, or about 5,600 large semi-trucks. Now how's that for reducing traffic problems? And here it is, a barge of pet coke and a lot of it. In fact, each of these barges carries about 1,600 tons. You can see that it's made up of pretty small granules, so that we have to do very little to it before it's ready for our boilers. Our e-crane can unload three to four barges a day, so this is a busy place to be. In fact, I think it's time for me to get moving. Before the fuel makes its way to the unit, it is dropped into a hopper and ultimately falls onto the conveyor for immediate transport. But the thing is, we're a mile and a half away from the plant and we need to cross over Highway 1 and under Interstate 49 along the way. We needed a special conveyor system to make this work. More specifically, our conveyor is a pipe conveyor. This conveyor starts flat but as it's loaded with pet coke, it rolls into a pipe and is held together and guided by rollers along a roller coaster like ride. Let's get going and I'll show you more along the way. Once the conveyor rolls into a pipe, it remains flexible so it can maneuver over and under roads and around other obstacles. You see that mound on the horizon? That's actually our stockpile of pet coke, ready to fuel the boiler. And here we are approaching the plant. The first building we come to is the transfer and crusher house. Appropriately named because it's where we either transfer the pet coke to the stockpile for storage and future consumption, or crush the pet coke into smaller pieces and send it directly to the unit for immediate use. So what does a 90 day supply of pet coke look like? Well see for yourself. Here at the plant we like to say that it's been stacked out for later use. We also store limestone, but it's under cover so it stays dry. We're moving closer and closer to the real action at the plant. So let's ride the conveyor from the yard to the silos where pet coke is being readied for use. The silo is filled with pet coke before it enters a feeder, which does exactly what it sounds like. It feeds the pet coke directly to the boiler. Since our process depends on steam, what better place to be than here in the boiler? That is, if you like it hot, like 1600 degrees Fahrenheit hot. Let's take a look inside. Clico operates a circulating fluidized bed, or CFB boiler. This technology makes our plant one of the cleanest solid fuel units in the nation. Pet coke and limestone are fed into the combustion chamber of the boiler, mixed with air, and consumed at high temperatures. The combustion process heats water running through tubes in the boiler and converts it into high pressure steam to power our turbine. But it's also below the temperature where most nitrogen oxides form, helping to keep our generation process clean. And remember that 3,000 acre lake I mentioned? We circulate the water from the lake through a vessel which condenses the steam back to water to be used over and over. 
The lake also provides the water we convert into steam. A series of tubes carries the steam from the boiler to the turbine, which is where we're headed next. Now it's time to put our steam energy to use. Once the steam enters the turbine, it turns three sections of turbine blades, which is coupled with the generator to ultimately turn at 3,600 rotations per minute. That means the tip of the turbine blades actually spins at 1,000 miles per hour. The generator converts this rotating energy to electricity, which means it's time for me to head outside. After leaving the generator, the electricity is sent to a transformer. The transformer steps up the voltage and then sends it to the transmission substation. The electricity then leaves the substation and travels to our customers' homes and businesses. Going back to the boiler, when fuel is consumed in the combustion process, we also produce exhaust or flue gas as well as ash, which means we're back at work controlling emissions. We've installed a selective non-catalytic reduction system, or SNCR, on each of the boilers. The SNCR contains something like a garden sprayer nozzle and sprays ammonia into the flue gas, reducing nitrogen oxides by an additional 50 to 70 percent. Through a series of ducts, the flue gas is then sent to a polishing scrubber where lime and recycled ash are used to further reduce sulfur emissions. The last post-combustion emissions control is in the bag house. The bag house is a series of fabric filters used to remove any particles, such as ash, from the flue gas. The clean flue gas is then sent up the stack. And what about the ash? It's sent to the ash silos, where it can be sold for other uses, including soil stabilization, additives to cement, or potentially landfill on site. Well, there you have it. Clico's Petroleum Coke Clean Coal Generating Unit. This unit will be warming up cups of coffee many years after I retire. And with fuel flexibility, we're going to keep fuel costs competitive. For Clico, it was the right decision at the right time. We're proud of our fuel flexibility to better serve our customers, along with the future capability of using renewable fuels. We think this is a unit for today and for tomorrow.